नजर बर कदम योर स्टेप्स ए थर्ड कलमा इज नजर बर कदम नजर मीन्स गेज कदम मीन्स ऑन योर स्टेप्स योर गेज इज ऑन योर स्टेप्स इट मीन्स एज ए सीकर वाइल वॉकिंग यू मस्ट कीप योर आईज ऑन योर फीट वेर एवर यू आर अबाउट टू प्लेस योर फीट मेक योर आईज बी देयर इट एम्प्लाइज ऑलवेज बी अवेयर ऑफ योर एज मूवमेंट With this, your glance will not be able to waver here and there, to look right or left or in front of you. Normally, when we go, when we are walking through the aisles of the marketplace, shopping malls, on the streets, we keep on looking left and right. backward and in that we sometimes stumble and also what happens when you keep on looking left and right and all about many impressions are gathered remember the unnecessary sight will wean the heart most wheels on the heart are created by pictures and impressions which are transmitted from your eyes to the mind during your daily living and interaction in the world of duality you are going through the streets you see many things there are vendors plying their trade on the streets people walking on the street some attract you leave an impression on you and then you continue to think about those impressions that have been gathered on you desires arise jealousy arises anger arises many kind of emotions arise in you this is when you are walking on the street and your eyes are moving freely to all directions there is an interaction between you and all the objects and beings that are on the street each interaction creates an impression it creates a short term or long term memory and these continue to wail the heart these definitely disturb your heart with turbulence because of the different kind of desires which have been imprinted on your heart on your mind for instance you are walking down the street you see a person plying trade in a particular item you may not pause at that moment or you may stop whether you stop or not once your eyes catches that image that object and impression is gathered an image is created these images are like wheels on the heart they block the light of the divine presence this is why sufi masters do not allow their followers who have purified their heart through constant zikr to look at other than their feet their hearts are like mirror reflecting and receiving every image very easily this is how the human heart is 
it is a mirror mirror makes no effort to create the impressions and images on its surface so to your heart acts like a mirror it goes on creating the images and impressions and then these might distract them and bring impurities to their heart you are sitting down in the meditation in zikr and now those impressions are reflecting back onto your mirror this is what happens during the day you interact with many objects and beings in this world of duality then some you may take a notice of others you do not but each of them creates an impression and image into your mind and when in the night you go to take a sleep these impressions start surfacing and you start reflecting back so when you sit down in meditation all those impressions that have been gathered or stored start coming in the form of dreams whether you are sleeping or sitting down in meditation during the day this dreaming continues therefore the seeker is ordered to lower his gaze in order not to be assailed by the arrows of negativity lowering the gaze is also a sign of humility remember a proud and arrogant one can never look at his feet it is also an indication that one is following the footsteps of the enlightened ones remember who when walks never looks right or left instead always keeps his gaze only at his feet moving steadfastly towards his destination is ever meditating it is also the sign of a high state when the seeker looks nowhere except towards his lord like one who intends to reach a destination quickly so too a real seeker never looks to his right or to his left and thus never allows the desires of the world to filter in he is always aware of the divine presence in and around one sufi master said the gaze precedes the step and the step follows the gaze the ascension to the high state is first by the vision followed by the step when the step the gaze precedes the step and the step follows the gaze the ascension to the high state is first by the vision followed by the step when the step reaches the level of ascension of gaze then the gaze will be lifted up to another state to which a step follows in its turn then the gaze will be lifted even higher and a step will follow it in turn two things are gaze and steps so each follows one another you gaze and then you take a step so with the step you move forward or when you look at it here ascension you ascend then you take you have a gaze again then a step and this process goes on and so on and so forth until the gaze reaches the state of perfection to which it will pull the steps we say when a step follows the gaze 
the murid has reached a state of readiness in approaching the footsteps of the Prophet. So the footsteps of the Prophet are considered the origin of all steps. Shah Bahauddin Naqshband said, if we look at the mistakes of our friends, we will be left friendless because no one is perfect. It also implies one never judges the actions of the others. In the mirror of relationship, he looks at his own faults and shortcomings and thus goes on improving upon himself meditatively. In the mirror of relationship, he looks at his own faults and shortcomings and thus goes on improving upon himself meditatively. This is Nazar Var Kadam or Watch Your Steps. The next is Journey Homeward or Safar Darvatan.